It's our last night in Vegas. We have located it all day today. We have been by the pool. It's a Shane Dawson's fan. Beast. We've been by the pool today. We woke up late. We went to the buffet called the Wicked Spoon. Here's my sexy husband. Did you like the buffet? Mm -hmm. What was your favorite thing? Um, macaroni and cheese. The mac and cheese was fire. <laughs> uh, Tres leches cake? No. <laughs> they had these little, everything looks like in these little containers, like, and it was really good. It was very kind of up, it was kind of, I don't know if I would call it upscale. Trendy. Trendy. They had like risotto. Like shots. Like shot, like uh, yeah. dessert shots. Dessert shots. I had cinnamon bread French toast. It's our, look, it's our last night, our hotel room. We're getting ready to just go walk around. We didn't wanna, we were gonna go eat a really nice dinner tonight. We're just like, I literally have on uh, jean shorts and a t-shirt and so does he. And we're like, let's just enjoy the last night. Go somewhere casual, walk around. I'm thinking I might go buy that hat. I haven't spent any money since I've been here, but I wanna go the balcony. Just show it this time. Oh, the strip. We're gonna get ready to walk down the strip. Never did sit in that little chair. <laughs> I sat on the other side. Big glass windows that we have. Seating area. That pool today was absolutely packed. Absolutely packed. So, yeah, we have had a fantastic trip. We were just saying what a great trip it was. I was like, I'm, we've been here for a long time. He goes, we ready to go home? I said I'm ready to see the dogs, but I could stay another week. <laughs> so we gotta just plan our next trip, which for Alex is next weekend. Alex, what uh, music festival are you going to next weekend, babe? North Coast. North Coast Music Festival. And the following weekend, he is going to Nashville, Tennessee. And um, look at this little back there. See, the bathroom lights up that picture, and you can see it's like a woman. And then the one after that, are we doing something together? Where are we going? You're going to Nashville. No, like the right after Nashville. <laughs> Where do you want to go? Are we going to go to Miami? Not I did not say that we were going to Miami. I wish. Oh, that's right. We're going to LA so you can um, meet up with all your like YouTuber people. <laughs> oh, I'm going to LA so I can meet up with all my YouTuber people. I don't have any YouTuber people. So anyway, well, we're gonna go eat, but that would be fun if I did. Um, so he's gonna have a couple fun weekends. And guess what, Alex? Guess what, Peter? <laughs> you think you're so fancy. I'm not at all. But you know what the next two weekends are for me? And somebody else? Say it. I don't know. You know what it is when you're out of town for the weekend? Uh, party. Whose party? Mine. Who, at home, who's having a party? Mm. It's pee pee and, he won't say it. It's pee pee and Peter's bachelor <laughs> weekend. It's pee pee and Peter's bachelor weekend. <laughs> don't worry about us. And don't worry, he doesn't. <laughs> All right. What are you hungry for? Hmm? Um, Janet from the Buffet Night. I don't know, I'm hungry for anything. I just Is want, that what you like, have her on your phone from? No, that's what she just texted me. Oh. <laughs> Alex meets new friends all the time and then he puts them in their, like this is how they, this girl identified herself, Janet from the Buffet Line. He met her last night. He has like all new friends from last night going out. Alex met, okay, I met Shane Dawson yesterday, which was like, oh, faint, a million thanks, guess what? Tell him who you met. Cascade. He met Cascade, he texted me, he's like, I'm crying. I cried. You cried? Mm-hmm. It's like his favorite DJ in the entire world. It's actually my favorite DJ in the entire world, too. Which means, had I gone, I would've got to meet Shane Dawson and Cascade in the same day. But, I had a good time walking around, blowing my money. I went to the Blowing your wad? Yeah, I went to the Blagio, it was so quiet and boring, but it was kind of, it was nice. Do you, so, wanna, do you wanna go game one of the uh, Caesars? Is there something down there that you're wanting to do? No, but I mean that's... We can walk down there and see. All right.
That's the only other place I've ever game bowled. Well, that's not true. Where else? Like, where? Bellagio and um, Palazzo. Because when I was here in December. Remember you were on the phone with me? Yeah. Yeah. Well, we just walk around and see what's going on. I wanted to go to the Morphe store. Well, just... let's go. We're gonna go. <coughs> We went to the buffet, you guys. I get my stomach hurt all day long afterwards. I think it was that. It was cinnamon bread, and they made it into French toast. It was so good. And they had these little shot glasses of uh, syrup. Maple. <laughs> all right, you guys. Talk to you later. Hello. So we just got back to the room. Oh, my God. I'm so exhausted. I'm thinking about wearing exactly what I wore. We went... Walking around, we ate and stuff like that. So, I wore these khaki cut off jean shorts from Target. The brand is Goodfellow and Company. I love them from Target. Thinking about wearing those. Oh, and I wore this Goodfellow from Target Just Black Ring Tee 2XL and my black Birkenstocks my watch and then I just wore this brown leather belt and <laughs> I felt like an Amber Lynn Reed video for a second vlog but anyway um so <clears throat> I'm thinking about wearing that on the plane tomorrow we're getting ready to pack hi hi it's turned away um we so we went down um, well, I bought a hat. I bought the hat that I was talking about because I didn't really spend that much cash while I was here. So I was like, you know what? Like, I'm gonna buy this hat. So I bought the hat, and I'll show it to you in just a second, or you can go follow my Instagram and see it on there. Then we, what did we do after that? We went and had a drink at the Chandelier Bar, which if you've never seen it, look it up. <coughs> it's very cool. It's literally three stories, and you feel like you're sitting inside of a chandelier. And we had had our wedding reception was at a restaurant, but then we came back here for drinks for the second part of our wedding reception. And we, tonight, there was a picture that I post on like my channels a lot of Alex and I, and he has his head on my shoulder. So Alex was like, well, let's recreate the picture. So we recreated the picture. Go follow Alex's Instagram. It is A-L-X-J-P-A-R-E-D-E-S. Um, Alex is written either. What? It's my full name, Alex J. Perez. Okay, it's Alex J. Prentice. I'll link it below. You guys can go check that out because he loves Instagram. So, he's been working on pictures. And, yeah, we were just talking about how much we, we have done, like, so much on this trip. Don't you think? Mm -hmm. He's really tired. We just walked back. And then we, I wanted to see the Morphe store, so we walked across the street to the Morphe store. It was closed when we got there, but it's a beautiful store. Alex even said he was like, it's really pretty in there. And um, they have like, it's really, uh, I would say, devoted to Jaclyn Hill. They have like, when you walk in, either side is um, like these huge things of like her palettes. And then there's like TV screens and the TV screens are huge. And they're playing like her video that um, showing the palettes. It was like the one that she did on Instagram. Um, and then we started walking out because we were hungry. Did we stop somewhere else or did we walk straight down to... Uh, <laughs> we walked through uh, Paris. Oh, we walked through the Paris because Alex had never seen it before. Show me your shoes so I can show them. They're so cute. What? Just throw me one of your shoes so I can throw show it. They're so cute. People were. Woo! Nice catch. My hubby's shoes. P U. And uh. So we walked through the Paris and then we walked all the way down and I was like, you know, the Venetian has a lot of restaurants because we couldn't find anything. And Alex was just getting hungrier and hungrier and so was I. So um, we walked down the Venetian and we ended up eating at, do you remember what that restaurant was called? Cannellotti or something? Mm -hmm. It's like an Italian restaurant. You felt like it was, like the ceiling was like clouds and it felt like you were sitting outside but you weren't, it was like in this little area. And we had a really nice dinner. And then we walked back. It seemed like it took us like an hour to get down there and like 10 minutes to get back. Like I feel like we like, he's so tired. Can you hear him yawning? I feel like we just like really booked it on our way back. So, um. Oh, and then we watched the last show of, the well the last show that we were going to see. 
of the Bellagio um, fountains and it was, I'm proud to be an American. And I took a video of it and I sent it to Tanya because she loves that song. And that was about it. Chug that water, chugga, 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 chugga. This morning we got up and we went to the, I may have talked about this one already on here. We went to the Wicked Spoon Buffet. Well, this morning is a exaggeration. I don't even know what time we got up, do you? One. Look at this light, I love this light, watch. You don't even know, it's like a hidden light. Are you ready? I'm gonna show you. It's a hidden light. I would love to have this headboard. And then you go. <gasps> Look at that, and then you can turn it over and then if you wanna read like that without keeping your husband up awake, like you do that. Is that not so cool? And then look, this like lamp right here, it has all the plugs and you can turn it on like that. And it has all these different plugs, see? Isn't that so cool? Yeah. This was Maya's friend's friend that we met and he's an actor in New Jersey. He had like a very uh, like radio voice. I was like, you're an actor? He's like, yes, I'm an actor. <laughs> Alex had the spaghetti bolognese tonight for dinner and I had a vegetarian risotto. And now he's packing and so I'm gonna go in the other room and talk a little bit and let him have some privacy while he's packing and then he's gonna take a shower and I am going to Whew. vlog for just a little bit and then I'm gonna, I don't really have a whole lot to do to pack, so. Um, gotta get the trash can, they took my trash can down. I'm proud to be an American. Okay, hold on, let me get my trash can thing. I'm gonna miss this hotel. The trash can is full. Well, what am I supposed to do here? It's like toilet paper wrapper. Oh, please hold while I get comfortable and I put on my slippers. <laughs> Let me put, look how dark my legs are. Let me put in my, put on my slippers while I'm sitting and I'm talking to you guys. Okay. So, are you ready? I literally, <laughs> I literally made, this heat has worn my uh, lips out. It's like a split right there, it hurts so bad. I made, Two purchases. One at the Cosmopolitan gift shop and two at D Squared at the Crystal's Mall. Now, I know you guys are going to think that this is ridiculous that I bought this hat. It ended up being $140, but I didn't buy anything else here, you know? I just didn't. And I was going to go shopping. I, you know, like planned out enough money to go shopping. So this is now every once in a while, okay? You know, I had the pink hat, then I have the black hat that I wear backwards. So every once in a while, you need to get a new hat. So this is my new hat that I got. <laughs> I think it's cute, don't you think? Icon by Peter Ma. So yeah, see, Icon. I probably won't wear it backwards, but if you're gonna wear it backwards, you could wear it like that, but it says D squared on it, see. But I probably won't wear it backwards. But this hat is so comfortable. We like literally were walking over there. Do you see it's like corduroy on it? And it's like so nice. We were walking over there and I was, I started turning around. I go, this is stupid. I'm not spending this money on a hat. Alex goes, just get it. You never get anything. So we went over there and got it. So then, um, I always buy Tanya stuff, um, you know, for the, the dogs, watching the dogs and stuff like that when she watches pee pee and all that. So I always try to bring her something back, but she's so hard to buy for because like she's got everything. And so she's really into water bottles right now. So I bought her, I take the price tag off. I bought her this, water bottle from the Cosmopolitan that says the Cosmopolitan on it, let me see. It's a really nice water bottle. I should have bought myself one. I should have bought myself a water bottle. Why? <laughs> I don't know. You have like so many. And then Tanya wears hats like every day to work. So I bought her this hat that says the 
Cosmopolitan on it, Las Vegas. And she'll like that, so. Tanya likes like t-shirts and sweatshirts and hats and stuff that say places on them. So yeah. I think that when I, can I have some of this water that you have in this water bottle? This water bottle that you have that you keep on refilling. I'm just gonna get up and see. No, this one that you, this ice, glacier ice or crystal waters or whatever. What? That one right there. I don't keep refilling it. I had a bottle of Oh, okay. Well, I'm gonna have a Pepsi anyway. Oh, actually, I want a diet Pepsi. Oh, screw it. I'm gonna have a Pepsi. <sighs> Yeah. He's really tired and I think he's a little cranky. I'm like on my second wind. So anyway, yeah, we walked all the way back. That was fun. What else do we do? I feel like we stopped somewhere else. Oh, we walked by the Mirage, and we like we had never seen that they have like the volcano go. I've never seen the volcano go off. And Alex was like reading the sign, saying that it was like eight, nine. Is it eight, nine, and ten? Eight, nine, and ten. So yeah. And now we go home tomorrow, and I miss my dogs. Um. I will say that this bed is so comfortable here and the blackout blinds are unbelievable that I literally could probably sleep 16 hours a day. If I didn't like want to get up and do stuff, I could sleep like 16 hours a day. This buffet that we went to today was, um, it was a little expensive. It was $77 for two people. I thought that was kind of pricey, but it's a Las Vegas buffet. They had so many like, just kind of like really random, unique things on it that it was so different. These Flip, the slippers are really comfortable. It was so different than um, like a lot of the other buffets that I've been to, especially even in Vegas. I waited in line one time like two hours to go to the Bellagio, I mean, this is no lie, to go to the Bellagio buffet because I had heard that it was like you had to go and it had like, you know, the seven areas of the world and all this kind of stuff. And I just wasn't really that impressed. I mean, quite frankly to me, a buffet is a buffet. But today, I will say this, the macaroni and cheese was incredible. They had ca uh, hash brown casserole. Oh my God, I felt like it was at Cracker Barrel. And it was so good. That was probably my favorite thing. Did you ever say what your favorite thing was? No, I don't remember. He liked the macaroni and cheese a lot. It came in like these little iron skillets. It was really cool. And then, um, what else did they have that I liked? Oh my god, the cinnamon French toast, cinnamon toast, French toast was like really, really good. So yeah. So like, I don't like really have much to do. I just have to pack, that's it. Do you guys use, I need to get a pair of slippers for at home. Do you guys wear slippers at home? I want a pair of slippers. I never wear slippers at home. I gave Alex a pair of like moccasins a couple years for Christmas. God, it's been probably eight, seven, eight years now. Because he ended up giving them to his brother Fufu, who at the time was like in high school living at home, because he ended up wearing them everywhere, you know, like how the high school kids. I feel like when I'm at the, like, the gas station and stuff, I always see like, they're always like, all these high school kids have those like moccasins on. Do you know what I'm talking about? That you can get at like Walmart. They're so comfortable though, and they're like 10 bucks. They have, like the plastic heel on them. I have a pair at home. They're like so bent out because I just like step on the backs of them. <laughs> I mean, that's why I was like feeling bad about the hat because I'm like Walmart and Meyer all the way. But anyway, so yeah, it was uh, it was a good day. It was very relaxing. I think four days. I mean, I definitely could stay like five more days if I had the money, but this place is expensive. Um, but look, I'm going home. Oh, what's that? That was a dollar bill. But I'm going home. When I'm going home with cash, so I didn't even spend what I. Thought I was gonna spend coming here. Hold on, please. 
Okay, so I turned the camera off when I like went down for the dollar bill. But anyway, yeah, so I'm coming home with money. I feel like the, you know, I've been coming home with money from a lot of the trips that we go on, which I'm thankful for. Um, when we go on all-inclusives, it's like we don't, um, we don't really spend money, you know, except for like getting from the airport there or whatever and tipping the guy. But other than that, it's not bad at all. We're talking about like the next trip that we would like to take. I'm gonna get my phone. I'm gonna start looking up while I'm talking to you guys. Hold on a second. How about I slip in my slippers? How about I slip in my slippers? These boots are made for walking, and that's just what they'll do. One of these days, these boots are gonna walk all over you. Okay. This is not my greatest look. This is not my fashion runway look. Ugh, oh, my legs from walking. I should let you guys plan our next trip. It needs to be che cheap, I'll tell you that. <laughs> That's for dang sure. Just gonna dream a little bit here. Did you guys ever do this? One of these days these boots are gonna walk over you. Oh, can't do that. I'm like picking dates. Can't do that because I'll be going to see Teresa Caputo, the Long Island medium, with Tanya. Could do that. We're turning on Friday. Okay. We like to dream a little bit. So, and then take it, like, if this is the dream, then do it a step down. <laughs> That's called clearance travel. <laughs> Have you ever done that? That means you go, I think we'd like to go to Fiji, but we can't do that. So maybe Mexico. Mexico is a little cheap. How about Louisville, Kentucky for two days? <laughs> that was our, literally, that was our conversation tonight at dinner. We should go somewhere in October. Where do you want to go? Oh, I don't know, Louisville, Chicago? Well, I was thinking, uh, I don't know, like Mexico, if we could afford it. Well, if you're thinking Mexico, why don't we just go to <laughs> Fiji if we're dreaming big? This cannot be right. You can go to Paradisus, Playa del Carmen, La Perla, all inclusive. One person, flight and air, all inclusive, okay? For Sunday night, Monday night, Tuesday night, Wednesday night, Thursday night, Friday night, five nights is $8.93. Oh, that can't be possible. Is it a total shithole? And there's a lot of places like that that are really cheap. I mean, eight ninety three is not really cheap, but for like six, for five nights, I think it is. Kind of, don't you? Where's the pool? Oh, there's the pool. The problem is Alex can't take off that much work. Oh my God! Here's an all inclusive that's cheaper than that. Here's another one that's cheaper than that. Does anybody know what Mexico is like in October? You can go, to, I mean, you can go to some of these all-inclusives for like five nights, airfare included, for like $500. I'm not even lying to you guys. Here's one right here, $475. This is unbelievable. Is nobody going to, oh, maybe it's because nobody's going to Mexico right now. Unreal deal, get one night free by booking together. Here's one, oh, that's 820, that's expensive. Anyway, I won't do this to you guys, but 
put in the comment section below where you think Alex and I should go on our next vacation, but it can't be expensive. And uh, I don't want it to be Miami. Because <laughs> we're going there in March, so. Mm. And we're going to San Diego for Christmas. See, I wanted to stay at this Fairmont Mayacoba Riviera Maya, but it's all inclusive, but it's $1,702. Like, no. But it's gorgeous. And it's on like a really isolated beach. Oh, the rooms aren't, don't even look that great. The beach is beautiful though. Hmm. You gotta dream for things to happen. If you dream, then things will happen, see? I'm not just a YouTuber now. Now I'm also a spiritual icon. <laughs> Oh my God. I was thinking today how much fun it would have been to like take my mom around like walking through Vegas and she would have just loved looking at this stuff. <laughs> I could just imagine though, like some of the people, it's like, if people walk really, really slow in Las Vegas, like really, really slow. I just couldn't even believe how slow people were walking. I was like, oh my God, people are walking so slow. We were like going places and my husband was like trying to like get ahead because we were trying to like get to some place to eat, you know, we were hungry. And so he's like zoom, 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 like following him on like getting through the crowd. It's crazy. Oh now here's the Fairmount Mike my, my, oh but that's not all inclusive. Huh. What's Aqua Boutique Resort Playa del Carmen all inclusive? I wonder what that means. Live Aqua. What do you think that means, Live Aqua? Oh, it's gorgeous. Ooh, it's really nice. Hmm, what does the beach look like? We don't want to go anywhere where the beach sucks again. That pool is so cool. Doesn't look like there's any kind of beach, though. Gym. This couple though, okay, so the couple that we became friends with from Long Island, they like literally went to the gym every morning. I'm like, you're in Las Vegas, Nevada. Who goes to the gym every morning? I am like so impressed. I was like, you're inspiring me. And they were my age. They weren't in bad shape, but it wasn't like they were like, you know, well, they actually did run marathons because she was like, we do 10Ks and stuff like that. But it wasn't like they were like, you know, models for Lululemon. <laughs> Let's just be for real. <laughs> None of us are at this age. <laughs> it's the truth, okay? I don't care. Listen, I love you all day long if you spend hours in the gym, okay? And you eat lettuce and drink water all day long and you drink that cayenne juice and lemon lemonade mix to like shed your body and cleanse it. And hey, I've done all of that too, okay? But at some point you gotta realize you ain't gonna be 20 no more, okay? It's just, that's the fact of reality right there. Enjoy 20 when you're 20, enjoy 45 when you're 45. That's the truth. It doesn't mean to give up, it doesn't mean that you stop trying to lose weight or, you know, whatever, but it's like, enjoy where you're at. <clears throat> I also, one of the things I've never understood is people that like, won't talk about their age or they lie about it. I'm like, why are you, why? like, I don't understand shame of age. I just, I don't understand that at all, you know? And, um, like, I think to some degree it's like, it's not about the age, it's about how people think, like their perception of what somebody thinks they look like at that age, if that makes sense. And it's like, you still look great for your age, okay? Like, so if you go and you meet a man, let's just say, right? And you're 45 and you look good. And you say, he says to you, how old are you? And you go, well, I don't talk about my age. Well, first of all, then he's, he knows that you're keeping something from him, right? Okay, so finally you say, okay, you're 35 and you say, or let's say you're 45 and you say, I'm 36, okay? <laughs> so you'd rather look like a bad, a bad 35, like a bad 36 than a good 45? Like, that doesn't even make any sense to me. I just really don't understand that. Can you just turn the shower on? I can't hear. Can I just tell you how many compliments I get on this watch? 
of all the watches that I own, this wooden watch. I love it. I was like trying to put it on and I adjusted it. But anyway, yeah. So I get like so many compliments on this watch. I love this watch. And it goes with everything. You can wear this with black shoes and nobody ever even says anything. I'm just gonna say something to do a wood watch. It's brown, it doesn't match. I actually have one of these in black too, but I don't really love it. So, yep, that's about it. I'm thinking about making tonight a really, really short vlog, let you guys catch up, although people are like watching. I was like really surprised that the last couple days, my vlogs, like people have really been watching them the last couple days. Um, but I need to pack tonight and I, Want to take a shower? He's gonna take a shower. Are you done packing? I can tell he's done packing because I can hear him putting the bag on the floor. Um, and then he's gonna take a shower and I'll pack while he's taking a shower. So, I think tonight I'm gonna make it a really, really short vlog. I do want to, one last time though, I wanna show just this part of the room so that I have this on camera because I've like grown real attached to this room now. <laughs> I loved this room. I love her. <laughs> That's Sheila. Bye, Sheila. Sheila, take a Sheila, take a bow. And this is like where we like put all of our stuff. No, we didn't do that. A little, another little painting. Well, that's the bathroom. We've already seen that. Little kitchen. And this is the, I love, I kind of really actually love this picture. It's like patchwork. But every time I did a, oh look, it says mode right there. Mode. But like every time that I did a video with it in the background at a city that never sleeps. There's like this little iPad thing, but I don't really know what it does. It has the weather on it and stuff. A bedroom. There we are, and then... Let's go out here and look at it. One last time at night. Because when I see you guys tomorrow, we'll be on our way home. Oh, it's so windy outside. So this is my little chair that I would just sit in and talk on the phone, and I would sit here like this. I see how I cross my legs, and I'd sit here like this, and just look out at the city. Look, it's a, I think it's a full moon tonight. Full moon in Vegas. So pretty. I mean, I know it's just like, you know, I know it's just all like neon and stuff, but, I don't have a picture of that behind me. So, hold on tight to the camera, Peter. Don't lose the camera. There's Las Vegas Boulevard, folks. Not over there. We walked all the way down there. So, do you see my hair? It is like so windy outside. And we're, we're on floor, floor 32. So we're high in the air. All right. So I'm gonna get off here. And I, next time I see you, well, I'll probably film a little bit on the way home. But the next time I see you, we'll be heading back to Indianapolis. I love you guys, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.